decision making is a process. There's a lot of decision making frameworks, a lot of decision making paradigms, but the, the idea that the decision has to be made when you're the leader, I have to be decisive. It does not have to be instantaneous, but I have to be decisive to put my name, my picture under the word leader. Passivity is not an option. You must make decisions to lead. Passive leader is an oxymoron. Calm, gentle, slow leader is not an oxymoron. Loud, wild, get em leader is not an oxymoron. That's fine. I don't care what your style is, but passively sitting and letting everything happen to you and happen to your organization while you should be making the call is not okay. Your business, your ideas, and your team will be paralyzed by an indecisive leader. I have leaders on my team that are very deliberate. They need all the details. They need time emotionally to process it. And they make decisions very slowly. And I am fine with that as long as they make the freaking decision. I have leaders on my team that are like me. I'm a super high D. I make a decision. If I don't like it or it's wrong, I'll just make another one. Like in the next 13 seconds, you know, I'm fine with that. So that, that's just the speed at which you're doing it. Neither one is correct. What, the only thing that is incorrect is simply not doing it. That's not okay. And indecision in general, the paralysis of a decision facing you and you not doing anything is only caused by one thing, fear. We all have things come at us that we fear, that we don't understand, we don't know what to do with. And not dealing with them means the fear won the argument. And fear is not a fruit of the spirit. The Bible says that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Sometimes people are like that squirrel on the road. Y'all got squirrels in your area? And they run out in the road and they go, boom, boom. That's a double-minded man. You're gonna get run over. I don't care if you're left or right, just be it. That way you don't get hit by the truck. Just be what you is. Somebody's not gonna like whatever you do and you're gonna be dead in the road if you decide to try to, you're gonna try to please everybody. So just get out of the road. Make a decision. Blum, blum, right? <sighs> Criticism comes with the territory. The only way to avoid criticism, Aristotle said, is to do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. These are not options. My friend Max Licato says his daddy used to say, dogs don't bark at parked cars. The trolls are there, the criticism's gonna be there, you're gonna make mistakes, and people are gonna misunderstand your motives, oh well. Criticism is gonna come. If you are, if it is necessary in your personality for you to keep everyone happy, you will destroy your mental health. You simply cannot keep everyone happy. I don't want to be unkind to someone. I don't want to pur purposefully pick fights unless it's for the entertainment value. But, but in general, I'm not, I'm not trying to go out here and just rough people up. That's not the point. But the point is I am well aware that as long as I do anything of scale, the scale of criticism is going to continue to stay with it. It goes with the territory. Some of it's close to you. It's your mother, the lady earlier. It, 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 some of it's, you know, it, if team members or former team members or sometimes it's a, a customer, uh, sometimes it's a competitor, uh, and sometimes people that just make up crap. And, and so just count on it. Trolls, cancel culture, fear of COVID mandates of one kind or another. This is, all, you know, managing, if you manage to the optics, if you lead to keep everybody happy, the way you lead, you're one of these companies that leads to make everybody happy, you want, you want to look like you like, that you did the right thing, you love everybody, you're gonna get nothing done. You're of no value if you completely neutered your whole process. Because you have no soul left. You become agnostic to everything. Anything is okay, everything is okay. So nothing is okay. 
And that's what a lot of these publicly traded companies have done. They're trying to take these stands where all the little groups and all of their little problems are all addressed when they're supposed to just be selling stuff at their store. And instead, they've gotten in the political business and in the political correct business, politically correct business, trying to keep from getting canceled by somebody. Well, there's a good way to keep from getting canceled, by the way. Own it. A little tough to cancel me on the network. Now, I'm not trying to be offensive to some group or whatever. I'm not setting out to do that. But I'm also not going to live in fear of that. We're going to get business done. We're going to love people well. We're going to be kind. And, and we're going to be excellent at what we do. And because we're moving things around, somebody's pissed all the time. Just get used to it. It's part of the process. Elements of good decision making. Deciding not to decide can be the right decision. Sometimes you don't have enough information. Sometimes it's in the heat of the moment. You need to calm down. So sometimes just saying, not right now. That is a decision. It's an intentional act. It's proactive. It's not passive. And you're simply saying, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not ready to pull the plug. Not ready to pull the plug. We're not doing that. When everything was melting down last year, and, account, and we're, dro we're losing events moment by moment by moment. Every day another event was getting, we were having to cancel it. Uh, I, suddenly we had people out there five, six months out from the current situation with COVID stuff stirring up, right? We got people five, six, seven months out trying to cancel something. I'm like, how the crap do you know what's gonna be happening in seven months? I'm not canceling that today. When we get a little closer, if the same kind of environment exists, we may have to cancel it. But today, I'm not canceling stuff. The whole thing may be over out there in seven months. I don't know. And, you know, what, what kind of looking glass have you got that you can look eight months in the future and know exactly what is going to happen? You know? No. So we didn't cancel stuff, and it made everybody nervous. And they would, like, be in my office every day. Can we cancel it now? No. It's still seven months in one day. You know, it's like, good Lord, just no. Just calm down. Not now. Not now. Not now. We'll wait. We'll watch this. Procrastination can be avoided, on the other hand, if you're procrastinating and not making a decision by setting a self-imposed deadline and writing it on your calendar. I'm not gonna decide now. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit inside my soul. I'm gonna gather some more information. I'm gonna watch the, watch the marketplace move, see how the, what rough the waters are and what's going on. And by Friday, two weeks from today, I'm gonna make the call and just put it on the calendar. And when you wake up that morning, you'll be free and you'll be going, yeah, I think I, think I can make it. Oh, by the way, if I don't want to make it that day, I can purposefully move the date. But at least you've got something bearing down on you where you are going, not going to kick the can down the road indefinitely. So you put a date on the calendar and that pops up on ding, ding. Okay, today's the day I got to make a decision. Am I going to keep this person? I gave him a little time here. I want to make sure it wasn't just me being emotional about it. And I... Uh, I think my initial, I think my initial thing was right. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and deal with this. And, and I don't just put it off and put it off because of the pain. The pain that is inflicted with the decision is usually short term. The pain of not making a decision and letting things just languish is long term and devastating to an organization. Take time proportionate to the size of the decision. The more important the decision is, the bigger the impact of the decision, the more money is involved, the more people are involved, the more important it is, the more time you should take. 